Hello Gemini, welcome to a love reading. This is all about you and your person, how you feel about each other, and what's the potential outcome. So before Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. However, it's a general reading, so will not resonate with every Gemini watching, so just keep that in mind. That's one message we have for Gemini. Regarding love. This will be for those of you who have some sort of a connection with someone or have someone in mind. We'll start with you, Gemini. Tell me about Gemini's thoughts or feelings regarding this other person that they're dealing with. Calling in your soulmate. I feel like you're manifesting a soulmate here. Maybe you feel this person is your soulmate and so you wanna see this progress. Tell me about Gemini's person. Tell me about the oh that one just went flying let's see worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life wow okay tell me about what's going on in this connection spirit tell me about what's going on in this connection between gemini and this other person honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together I just heard distance. Bottom of the deck, reconciliation, yeah. Um, someone from the past is returning to your life. I feel like right now there's a distance between you and this person, either emotional or physical distance. I'm using my um, Stellar Energy Oracle deck to get the energies here. Can I get some more information, Spirit, regarding Gemini and this other person? Tell me about Gemini's energy. Oh my gosh, we got manifesting abundance. So yes, this was this you're definitely manifesting. Growth, creativity, evolution, you're growing and manifesting abundance. Tell me about Gemini's person, the person that Gemini is dealing with. Tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with, Spirit. What are their energies at this time? I got two. I'm just going to take this. Walking away. True love. Departure, moving, journey. Walking away towards a more stable situation. And then true love. Love, soulmate, emotion. This love is genuine and true. I love this card. So your person's walking away for love. And that's why you're waiting for them? Tell me more about... What is going on in this connection between Gemini and this other person? Spirit, tell me what's going on in this connection between Gemini and this other person. Moving forward. Cycles, endings, beginnings. You're moving forward into a new chapter. Again, with like the same, there's the same picture here, by the way. There is like a little canoe on the honeymoon card. And then on the, my moving forward card, there's also like a canoe. Okay, so <laughs> I feel like this is such a clear message. I don't even know like how I could clarify this further, but we're gonna get, get into the tarot and see. By the way, Gemini, I have you on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate more. All right, for Gemini spirit, tell me what is going on. Tell me about Gemini's energy. What is Gemini thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection with this other person? Knight of Cups reversed. We got Justice, okay. Libra energy. Okay, so you want like things to be made right. You want things to be fair. You want to just know something. I feel like with the Knight of Cups reverse, you might have been waiting for someone to express love or an apology to you. Tell me more about Gemini's energy. I'm also picking up, like you wanna manifest something fair to you. Five of Wands reverse. You might be wanting um, to
to reconcile, uh, no longer have drama or conflict with someone. What's this? Ten of coin, yeah. You want things to be stable again. It's almost like you think if you could just fix this, you would have a ten of coin. If you could just like make things right or put things on the right path again, if you could just move forward with this person, it would be different. It would be fair or balanced to you. Tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with. Queen of coin. Oh. Is this person already in a commitment? Yeah, because they're walking away. Oh. Okay. Now it's starting to make a little bit more sense. <laughs> Tell me more about the person that Gemini is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Seven of coin reverse. What else can you tell me, Mr. Gemini? King of Cups. Wow, yeah, this person, like, a lot of love for you, Gemini. A lot of emotion here. Walking away for love. Because of how they feel. Okay. I'm going to clarify those in a little. Okay, tell me about the mutual energies, please. Tell me about the mutual energies between... Gemini and this person. Six of coin. Again, we're making things right. Bringing back balance, reciprocity, equal give and take. Tell me more for Gemini. Ten of cups reversed. Something happened between you that was very disappointing, heartbreaking. It might have caused separation between you. So let's clarify. Let me clarify these energies for Gemini, please. Let me clarify these energies for Gemini, please. So let's get into this, Gemini. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed? Seven of Wands reverse. Why is the Knight of Cups reverse? Eight of Coin. I feel like you're waiting for someone to just talk to you. To no longer resist, to no longer have, to no longer be scared or fearful. You just want them to just talk to you. Like, you, it's almost like I can see you over here, like, let's just work on this. Tell me about justice. Death reverse, Scorpio energy. What's this? Nine of swords. So I feel like with death reversed, um, you don't want things to end with this person. You don't want things to be over completely and in your mind you know if you just make things right maybe you feel guilty about something or perhaps you're stressed or anxious about something ending with this person why is justice here the emperor reversed aries energy this could be out of your control or perhaps Two of Wands. What's behind this? Four of Cups. Interesting. It's. I think you. You're think. You. It's like you're doubting if this other person feels the same way, or if this other person wants to fix this as much as you do. And I feel like you go back and forth between, like, yes, I'm gonna do what it takes to fix this, and no, this. Is out of my hands or it's not up to me to fix it something like that I'm also picking up that some of you are just wondering if you should just move on with your life but I feel like in the back of your mind you're still manifesting this yeah there was some sort of painful ending someone walked away here from this connection in the past okay tell me about the seven of coin reverse because this is about someone feeling like 
they've wasted their time or they've made a bad investment or something like that. They're wondering if something will work out at all. Tell me about the seven of coin reverse for this person that Gemini is dealing with. Eight of swords, fear, feeling trapped. They're trapped in a bad investment, your person. They're trapped in a bad investment and they've been in it for a while. Nine of wands reverse, <clears throat> stubbornly holding on. Yeah, to something that just isn't working. Something that is an illusion. Yeah, this could be a marriage with the four of wands. They made the wrong choice with the seven of cups. And it's a, it was a wrong choice and now they're stuck and would have to walk away for this to work. Tell me about the King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? Three of Wands waiting with expectation, making plans, preparing. Which option is the best one? I think this time they would have to make a smarter choice. Yeah, this is about your person going after what they want with the Knight of Wands. Two of Cups reversed. There could be um, walking away from a Two of Cups or there's some sort of disconnect here. Yeah, look at this, Six of Swords reversed. So they're, they're trying to leave a situation they're in but they might be delayed because they're waiting for something what's the six of coin about four of wands what's the ten of cups reversed about the higher font Page of Swords. You're you're watching each other, and this person is definitely married, or you are married. I feel like you keep tabs on this person, or vice versa. You keep tabs on each other, probably watching what the other one is doing from your commitments or from you <laughs> wherever you're in. I feel like there was there's some sort of um, heartbreak that happened because of a commitment here with the Four of Wands and the Higher Font Taurus energy with the Higher Font. I feel like also some sort of commitment is making things uneven or unbalanced here. You're watching each other, but not doing anything and not saying anything. Wow, is it that you're not even communicating with this person? Three of Swords, perhaps because of the third party. Let me know if this is resonating down below in the comments. I have a feeling that for the people I'm talking about, talking to the Geminis that I'm talking to, I don't think you guys are really communicating. I feel like there's some sort of commitment that got in the way here that someone is now waiting to walk away from. So what's the potential outcome? What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull three cards for the potential outcome in the near future. And then we'll be taking this to the extended where I'll clarify the potential outcome further. And then I'll look at, I'll use my secret moon oracle deck to figure out what they're secretly thinking or feeling about you, what are their intentions, and what advice spirit has. So if this is resonating for you in any way, check out the extended. It's linked down in the description box below. Spirit, what is the potential outcome here for Gemini and the person that they are in a connection with October 2020? Potential outcome, please. Four of Wands, right on top of the Four of Wands. It's a potential outcome here for Gemini. The Sun. Wow, Gemini, I feel like you're going to be very happy with whatever outcome this is. This is good news, happiness, joy, success with the Sun. Potential outcome here for this connection. In the near future, Gemini and this other person. Queen of Cups, wow. Also, we got the Queen of Cups 
and the King of Cups on the board. <clears throat> so in the near future, with the uh, Four of Wands here, actually, let me just clear the board here so that I have some. With the Four of Wands here, I feel like there's still gonna be a commitment between you. However, there's some sort of good news or some sort of thing you're gonna celebrate here, Gemini, is what I'm seeing. I think it has something to do with, it's like emotional fulfillment with the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with a Leo or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or an air, um, air sign. A fire sign, I have the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. What else did I have over here? Libra, Aries, Scorpio. But if your sign's not there, that doesn't mean that this isn't your reading. It's just your sign didn't happen to pop up because every single tarot card has an astrological sign attached to it. Every single one. So very rare for a fire sign, earth sign, water sign, or air sign not to pop up. Anyways, <clears throat> potential outcome. I feel like there's something here that's going to happen with this four of wands. I feel like once I clarify this in the extended, I'll get a little bit more information, but <clears throat> this walking away up here, moving forward, this is movement. Someone moving. It could be a physical move. It could be someone leaving a situation. I feel like there's something happening here with this person's home life with the four of wands and of course i've already mentioned the sun either this is something that's going to make you very happy to hear about gemini um like this is good news or there's something that's going to be completely clear radiant like super bright like like a truth that's shined right in your face Something is like revealed, you know? The sun is out and everything's like, you can see everything. With the Queen of Cups, you know, this is someone that is very compassionate, loving. I have the King of Cups here. I feel like this is, this is you and your person. I feel like in the near future, there's something that's going to take place here where, you know, maybe you take action or your person takes actions towards you now bottom of the deck here i had the hangman reverse so i feel like someone is still a little bit stuck with the hangman reverse or unable to let go of something right away there's possibly delays in someone getting down or getting unstuck with the hangman reverse. Um, it could be that something's in your person's way, like someone specifically um, delaying your person from leaving. Or it could be that your person doesn't wanna leave yet because they don't wanna sacrifice something. You know, take it as it resonates, but I see both things there. All right, Gemini, if you'd like to just share how this story is resonating for you, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments. Let me know how this story resonated for you. Um, what is your situation like? Is your person married? Um, I love reading through the comments. I can't respond to all of them, but I do read them all. And I will see you all in another video. Take care.